Elon Musk's daughter Vivian has come out swinging against her transphobic father. In an interview with NBC News, the 20-year-old Vivian Jenna Wilson hit back on her father's statements that he had made on Jordan Peterson's show. So he told uh, Peterson things that never actually happened, lied about her, uh, and claimed that he was tricked. He was tricked into supporting her transition. Uh, for example, he said this. I knew that from when he was about four years old, so of course, uh, a lots of uh, misgendering here, dead naming, etc. cetera. Uh, quote, he would pick out clothes for me to wear like a jacket and tell me it was fabulous, as well as his love of musicals and theater. For one, she responded by saying like, what are you talking about? I was four years old. I, I didn't like musicals or theater. You're using a bunch of basically gay stereotypes against me. Um, quote, I never even picked out jackets for him to wear. And, and I was most certainly not calling them fabulous because literally what the F I did not use the word fabulous when I was four, because once again, I would like to reiterate, I was four. This entire thing is completely made up, and there's a reason for this. He doesn't know what I was like as a child, because he quite simply wasn't there. And in the little time that he was, I was relentlessly harassed for my femininity and queerness. There it is. There it is. Uh, now, she also accused Elon of viciously yelling at her during a family road trip, because her voice was too high pitched. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. your voice is too high. Oh, why don't why don't you deepen your voice? It'd be manlier. In fact, he put pressure on her to be appear more masculine and insisted on her deepening her voice when she was in an elementary school. Quote, I was in fourth grade. We went on this road trip that I didn't know was actually just an advertisement for one of the cars. I don't remember which one. And he was constantly yelling at me viciously because my voice was too high. It was cruel. She added that, from what she remembers, he was cold, quick to anger, uncaring, and narcissistic, which doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Based on what I've seen of Elon Musk, 100%. No wonder she wants absolutely nothing to do with him going to, tr uh, going to court and changing her last name along with her name uh, to Vivian. Um, and wanting, again, absolutely no relation to him whatsoever. He seems like a terrible father, as well as being a terrible person. So, now wait, what, what brought this on? Well, she decided to speak out first, after Musk had posted on Monday, that Wilson was born gay and slightly autistic. Two attributes, he says, contribute to gender dysphoria. Well, okay, first of all, that's actually not true. There isn't any causal relationship between autism and gender dysphoria. Okay, that's, that's an old uh, trope. Uh, it, it, basically, uh, researchers have attempted to draw a link between these two things, um, and those uh, links have been poorly substantiated. Okay? Now, what Elon Musk is referring to happen to be flawed studies from the 1990s, which essentially blamed the child's autism for pathologizing their gender identity, okay? Now, researchers currently understand a lot more about both autism and gender identity than they did back in the 90s. Uh, in fact, there were a couple of studies since then. In 2018, the study was published by van der Meizen et al. that specifically looked at those with ASD and gender dysphoria. That study found that 14.5% of those with gender dysphoria met the criteria for autism, so it's not overwhelming. Right. Another 2023 study from Corbett found that parents of children with ASD reported higher, uh, notably higher levels of gender diversity than did parents of children who had typical development. Of those, they found that children who were assigned female at birth were reported by their parents as having greater body incongruence than the children who were born slash assigned the gender of male at birth. Children with gender diversity and ASD reported more internalized negative feelings and suicidality. Uh, in general, compared to their typical development peers. So what we see here, okay, is that dum-dums like Musk took correlation and assumed causation. But that's not how things work. 
it may be that those with ASD report more gender diversity because of their lack of social anxiety slash social awareness makes them more likely to be true to themselves, while others who are not on the spectrum with typical development hold back out of fear of reprimand or retribution. We're not entirely sure, okay? That is possible, but we don't know 100%. That said, what we do know here is that gender-affirming care saves lives. If you're a good, if you're a good dad, if you're a good parent, uh, you want your kids to be healthy, happy and healthy regardless of their sexuality and gender identity, right? Well, Vivian is living her truth. She's happy. She's happier for it. And it sucks that she is getting dragged into this. Remember, she's a 20-year-old college student. She just wants to get her education, okay? Uh, but Elon Musk is going to his platform and talking to weirdos like Jordan Peterson uh, about and, and basically lying about her and misgendering her and dead naming her and say, oh, my son is dead. That's what dead naming means. He's dead. And, and it's all the fault of the woke and the woke mind virus. No, no, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, it's your fault that she doesn't want anything to do with you because you keep lying about her. And you were a terrible father for growing up. I mean, that's the reality. But he's going out there and telling his millions of idiot followers all these lies. Who, by the way, then will go on to, for one, misgender her, dead name her, and then claim, oh, I feel so sorry for him. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you just want to attack her and, and be a, a terrible person because that's who you are. You're just terrible people who hate trans people. And that's what this is. Uh, now, finally, Wilson refuted Musk's claims that he had been tricked into agreeing to gender-affirming care when she was 16. She said he knew what he was doing by signing that agreement after initially he hesitating. Now, why did he change his mind? That's because he was radicalized by right-wing weirdos into hating his own daughter. That's what happened here. I mean, if anything, Elon Musk is actually a victim of his own hatred and ignorance and of being uh, basically gaslit, okay, by people in his own audience, the people that he desperately wants to like him into hating his own family. That's really it. If anyone's at fault for killing the relationship between the two, it's Elon Musk for listening to those people. I mean, also he could be adored by some of the worst people on the internet who will turn on him. Uh, at a moment's notice. That said, one person who didn't turn on Vivian was Grimes, who has a son and two daughters with, with Musk. Uh, I'm sorry, two sons and a daughter with Musk. Um, she wrote on X that she is forever endlessly proud of Vivian. So at least Vivian has one supportive parental figure uh, in her life and probably many more uh, as uh, along with many other friends. Uh, but it sure as hell in her dad being supportive. Uh, and look, if he actually really does care about her, he'll stop talking about her. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time, where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.